perimeter. He has command of all of his pitches. Ground ball to the hole. Man, he's going to have to make one of those platinum glove plays. And he does. Matty Machado from shallow left field throws out smoke. Yeah. Well, that's the kind of stuff we're talking about right there. Come on, Manny. Do your thing. And he does here. Showing the range. He's like four or five steps on that outfield grass. There aren't many shortstops, if any, that can make this type of throw on the run. All the momentum going towards the left field seats. And he comes up with a strike to first base. What a play by Machado. Mm. Here's Gary Sanchez. Infield is in now with one out. High fly ball, left field. Martinez. And that ball is over the wall, a home run. A two run shot for Sanchez, and it is 4 0 Yankees. The Sanchino has hit a two run home run to left field. He now has six hits against Price. Five have been home runs, and the Yankees take a 4 0 lead. Got that sound. Yeah, he, all of a sudden he picked up Martinez like oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's not going. He doesn't know where it is either. You think Martinez just playing games there or really didn't see it. I don't think there's any games to be played. He had that look of <laughs> I have no idea where this ball is. There's Gary Sanchez a home run and a double. So he's doubled his hit total in this one game for the season. High fly ball left center going back Bradley turning looking. See ya. Another home run for Sanchez. Another two run shot. And the Yankees lead 8 to 1. He is the Sanchino. A homer, a double, and a two run home run. Gary is scary. He has broken out of his slump in a big way. It's a two run blast to left center. And the Yankees take an 8 1 lead. On this cold night, the middle of the order has absolutely taken advantage. Of pitches by the Red Sox. That ball was crushed. Fly ball center field. It's well hit. O'Double's back there toward the fence. He jumps and he made the catch. He just robbed a home run and kept this ball game tied. A tip of the cap from Luis Garcia. It's a short fence. And O'Double did it the right way. He went back to the spot. And then launched himself and that would have been into the bushes easily if not for the defense of Odubel Herrera. No runs one hit one man left and one very frustrated Scooter Jeanette. Up strides the guy who had two home runs yesterday. There's a drive well hit. Long home run as Baez uses the big part of the field. A little bit right of straightaway center field on a 3 1 pitch. I'm kind of surprised they didn't just put him on. Oh my. A drive to left. He's got four in two days. Wow. Yeah, wow is right. 434 on the first one to the uh, center field. This time pulls it into the seats. A no doubter. And he is feeling it. Lean back, lift off. Watch it go. Fans want a curtain call. Howdy may want to ask his girlfriend to marry him again tomorrow. This one is belted. Center field. Thompson's back. And it is. Close. He caught it. Whoa. He caught it. Sensational play by Trace Thompson to take a two run homer away from Puig. Unbelievable. Now those are boos for Trace Thompson. An unbelievable leaping catch over the wall in his A's starting debut against his former club, and he robs Yasiel Puig of a two run home run. What a sensational play by Trace Thompson. Uh, welcome to the Oakland A's, Trace Thompson. Pitchy. He'll shoot this one through the left side of base hit. Calhoun, rounding third, will come in to score, and Shohei Otani gives the Angels a 1 0 lead. Showtime once again went with the pitch. Base hit, RBI. A lot of happy fans here. 
eighth RBI of the season. Went fastball inside part of the play, went inside out on that swing. Placing it in the left field for an RBI single. All this started with two outs. The energy so great into the ballpark when Shohei Otani is either hitting batting practice or playing in the game. If the Mets get even or go ahead, that's toward the middle base hit for Gonzalez. In is Ploiecki. Here comes Conforto. Conforto scores, and the Mets take the lead. Mickey Callaway pushes the right button. He sends up the left-hand hitter, and Gonzalez comes through. Drives in a pair, and it's 2-1 to one New York. Well, it's awful fun to watch when everything turns to gold. And the bat, the left-hander, veteran Gonzalez against O'Grady, turns into two runs. Again, it looked like a, a fastball. They were trying to come inside. Field in for him, one away, bases loaded, pitch. Ground ball, right side, it's going to sneak through. The infield in helps Atlanta, one run scores. Freeman's coming home. Harper's throw to the plate, not in time. Freeman got in ahead of the tag. Boy, did he split him over there on the right side. I mean, just got it through there by the narrowest of margins. Fastball in on him, bought it off, and he picked the right spot, didn't he? And look at the gorgeous slide by Freeman. Oh, hook slide, beauty. Perfect throw, but Freddie. 38 pitches through the first two innings, and one Arenado leading it off. That one thrown oh. behind him. Arnado's go. going after him, and now we're going to fight at Coors Field. Padres have been hit the entire series, and Perdomo throws behind Arnado, and it's on. You sort of had to figure this may happen. Maybe not so much after the Margot last night, but the Renfro today. Yeah, got that right. And he and A.J. Ellis are now trying to get at each other. Now, if you think about it, if you're going to throw at one of the Rockies, sure. you would pick probably Nolan Arenado. Mark and McGuire's Mark in McGuire his face. Right in his face. Threw the glove at him as Arenado was about to arrive at the base of the hill. He eluded the glove, but then went after Perdomo and AJ Ellis tried to cut him off before he got there. Did he connect with that right? Uh, looked like he was grazing blow there. They've got a little piece of him. And there's a push punt to third. They go to second. They'll get the force and Wade. Reaches on the fielder's choice. And now there seems to be some sort of dispute, and the benches are going to clear. Only words are exchanged, but the benches clear nonetheless. You know, we're looking at it here, and Holt takes the tag, and he went in and he spiked it. So Holt says something to Austin, and that's what happened. So, you know, Holt didn't do anything. He went in and he spiked him with this. He went in for a slide. I'm not saying he did it on purpose, but he did. Austin was that base runner at second base. Looked like he got a piece of Brock Holt. The bench is cleared after that. And that's why he gets drilled here and he slams the bat. Now he's making a move and here come. Here he comes on the run. And now fisticuffs as Kelly's being tackled and punches being thrown. The bullpens are emptying and the Red Sox and Yankees for the second time tonight have cleared the benches. First time there were no punches thrown. This time there were. And now the skirmish spreads beyond Austin and Kelly. Although Austin still wants a piece of it. 
Here's a look at Kelly. He's trying to get low as Austin's charging. So Austin goes down as he was trying to get to him, then gets back up and has him from behind. And that's when Judge gets involved as well. Judge clearly trying to play peacemaker. And then the one that got him right in the back, and that one's convinced that that was intentional. Slams the bat down and heads out toward the out to Kelly, throws the helmet down, and Kelly gets a couple of licks in, but then uh, everybody starts to pile on Kelly. That's a that's a looked like a rugby match. Boy, Kelly said, "Let's go." Yeah, Joe said, "Come on." He actually got him down on the ground, and but then we just kind of lose sight of everybody. Well, Kelly for sure has been ejected. Brian Johnson comes trotting in. Johnson threw the final two innings last night. Phil Nevin has something to say to somebody in the Red Sox dugout. He had to be pulled away before, and now he's running up to the umpires, and he is really hot. Yankee third base coach Phil Nevin and Marcus Timms is there, as well as Aaron Boone, and maybe they were notified of who was thrown out and they didn't like it but uh, Phil Nevins just, just ran all the way from the Yankee third base coaching box and ran right toward the umpires while also shouting into the Red Sox dugout. Oh so Cora's saying I oh, take a walk and I guess Phil Nevin didn't like that.